Hello, my name is Danny Clay, and I served as the director of Crowden's John Adams Young Composers Summer Program this year. Over the course of the last two weeks, I had the privilege of working alongside colleague Mario Godoy and seven brilliant young composers, ages 9 to 17, each of whom wrote two compositions, one for voice and one for cello. Every morning for the last two weeks, the participants met to listen to musical excerpts, learn about instrumental and vocal technique, and discuss compositional strategies for the pieces they were working on. They would then have several hours to compose and would return in the early afternoon with a musical sketch of some kind. Each afternoon, one of our guest artists, either vocalist Molly Mahoney or cellist Doug Matches, would read through our sketches for the day and offer critical feedback in real time. A lot of the time, composers don't get a chance to hear their ideas realized by a live musician until right before the performance, so getting the chance to check in daily with these musicians was kind of a dream scenario. And it's no small feat either to write two compositions in two weeks, but our participants were absolutely up for the challenge, creating works that are funny, moving, evocative, entertaining, expressive, um, beautifully made and beautifully performed. I quickly want to extend a heartfelt thanks to Mario, Molly, Doug, the crowd in school, and most of all, to the composers who participated and their families for their time, attention, creative drive, and persistence during the last two weeks. And I can't wait for you to hear these pieces, so without further ado, let's listen to some music. Hope you enjoy. My name is Benjamin Burleson, and my first piece is called This Is Not A Small Voice. So with this poem, it is a person wanting to be noticed and have their opinions acknowledged um, and not be ignored. And I wanted to express that through music. And so that is what I did. And I wanted to exclude a, an accompaniment because that takes away from the vocalist. So the idea was that it's nothing but the vocalist. It's nothing but what there were. It's nothing but their words, the melody. No, nothing to distract you from that. And so I hope you enjoy. This is not a small voice you hear. This is a large voice coming out of the city. for today are called The Caged Bird because its lyrics are the words in Caged Bird by Maya Angelou, which is a poem, uh, and also Argument, which is a song about two musical voices having an argument, which is why it's called it. A 
free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wing in an orange sun's rays and dares to claim the sky. The caged bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown, but long for still and his tune. My name is Benjamin Burleson, and my second piece is called Bizarre. So with this piece, um, I wanted to compose something completely out of my comfort zone. And so what I did was I, I included two cello parts with sort of clashing melodies in parts to give you this feeling of multiple voices talking about different subjects at the same time. To give you this feeling of like a marketplace or um, a bazaar, which is what it's called. Um, so like it's supposed to have this feeling of other people talking about what they're buying, what they're selling, sort of shouting what they're trying to sell to other people on the street. And it puts you in this perspective of one of those people. And so I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dominic Storella. What you are about to hear is the piece I composed for solo mezzo-soprano entitled Ocean. This piece was inspired by and uses the words from Nathaniel Hawthorne's poem, also called Ocean. My overall goal for the piece was to write a song where the beat stresses alternate each measure and that uses a high amount of prosody, 
as well as having a well-shaped melody. I'd like to thank Molly Mahoney for performing this piece. The ocean has its silent caves, deep, quiet, and alone, though there be few. of the deep hold their communion there and there are those for whom we weep I am the bright the fair calmly the wearied seamen rest beneath
Hi, I'm Lucas, and the piece you're about to hear is called Let America Be America Again, a text setting of the poem by Langston Hughes. The poem is quite long for putting to music, so I excerpted it. Actually, I kind of butchered it. And while there are some complete stanzas in there, I also skip around quite a lot. However, I think I did a pretty good job keeping the original message of the poem intact, and I think I managed to enhance it quite a bit with the music I set it to. Hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Dominic Storella. What you are about to hear is the piece I composed for solo cello, entitled Opus Violoncellisticum. My overall goal for the piece was to include a wide array of cello techniques in order to create unique sounds, as well as incorporate more chromaticism and dissonant harmony. I would like to thank Doug Mishiz for performing this piece.
Hello, it's Lucas again, and the piece you're about to hear was originally an exercise we did for class, where everyone composed a short musical idea and then we all stitched them together into a sort of Frankenstein melody. I expanded on it with variations, and soon the piece developed an identity of its own, veering away from the original material. I titled it Tutor because that's what it sounds like to me. Someone teaching a concept and then the student interacting with it in a unique way to gain a better understanding of it, eventually understanding it fully at the end of the piece. Enjoy.
Small dark. 